I want to warn you, the story that I'm about to share with you is tough. The image you will see is graphic. The event, brutal. A young man, homeless and schizophrenic, beaten to death, kicked, tasered multiple times, hogtied face down, smashed against concrete, his head slammed with a flashlight. This is what happened to Kelly Thomas. At about 8.37 p.m. on July 5th, Ramos and Wolf responded to the Fullerton bus depot in separate vehicles. Ramos knew Kelly Thomas from prior contacts as a homeless person who hung out in the area. He did not believe that Kelly Thomas posed him any risk. It was obvious that Kelly Thomas had difficulty following Ramos' instructions. His instructions were to sit with his legs out, outstretched with his hands on his knees. It would be obvious to any reasonable observer that Kelly Thomas had cognitive issues and that he had difficulty following Ramos' instructions. Ramos made a deliberate showing of putting on latex gloves in front of Kelly Thomas. Ramos leaned over Kelly Thomas in this, in this most menacing way. He made two fists with his gloves on, two fists. He lifted his fists to Kelly Thomas in front of his face so that he could see them. And he said, now see my fists? They're getting ready to F you up. That declaration was the turning point. Ramos was telling Kelly Thomas at that moment that this encounter had changed to an impending beating by an angry police officer. You witnessed this event, and can you tell us? Can you tell us what you saw? Well, when I came up here, I saw two cops on top of a homeless guy right here that I know, and um, they were pretty much beating him up, telling him to stop resisting. And then more police came, and they started beating him with a flashlight, backup flashlight in the back of his head. And he wasn't moving around at all, but more came and they started tasering them, and it was just a, a horrible sight. It was, just, it was like a rampage. It was like a feeding frenzy. Like if you were to go watch some kind of National Geographic where the wildebeest gets too close to the water and the, and the alligator, it was just, it was terrible. It was, it, was, it was completely out of line, completely uncalled for, completely too much force. It was, um, what, 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 what was Okay! Here, yeah, dude! Here, yeah, just come on! Sorry, hey, 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 come on! Please hey, stop, dude! Please! Ah! Oh, oh, your stomach! Ah! Oh, 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 your stomach! Roll your stomach! Ready for a cold face meal! Oh! 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 Like this, you can't resist. So I don't know why they didn't put put cuffs on him and call it a night instead of hitting him. If we can. I can't stand. I can't stand. Damn. I can't stand stuff like that. We need what? Five cars for one guy? There's no even. He's on something. I got this. Yeah! 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 
Which way did you wrap these? Relax. Relax. You good? We can't take him. Can you guys gurney him? We can't take him. Yeah, it's your guy. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought he's a great. Come on, we can take him. Like it's your own guy. Got no, it, got it, Okay, I'm sorry. This guy we got. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going away. Hey, uh, you're ready to get these cars. We're going to call the ambulance. They're employed to protect and serve us. They're employed to be the ones that know how to hold restraint and not cross the line and protect people that get out of control. And so for me, it's even worse because they've broken the trust. Well, the man named Kelly Thomas was sitting on a bench when he was approached by two lawmen. Resisting arrest, they beat him down to the floor. Cried out for help, so they beat him down some more. He yelled out for his father, he yelled for them to stop. But it was a slow night at the precinct, so they dispatched for more cops. Their clubs and their fists were waving in the air When Kelly's eyes turned over, they just didn't seem to care So, so as a former um, police officer, what is your hypothesis as to why this got to this extent? It's very simple. There was evil in their eyes and blood on their hands So the people standing around were too afraid to help this man when they finally took a break from beating in his head, they sent him to the hospital where he was later pronounced dead. He's in what uh, officers call contempt of cop. He didn't do what they wanted. He didn't follow their program. So they bullied him under color of authority. Well, no one knows why they murdered Kelly Thomas Cause the evidence that night is sitting up in the DA's office The mayor's telling lies and the chief ain't being honest Oh my God, do these men even have a conscience? It made them very angry. It made them very angry. It's very evident from what they did. They, they didn't follow the procedures. They didn't follow procedures at all on how to arrest somebody. I teach arrest and control techniques to law enforcement. Well, the mayor even tried to hush his father's grieving. Said, here's 900,000, let's just call it even. When I heard the news, you know I couldn't believe it. They snuffed a man's life for no goddamn reason. How are we supposed to feel safe calling the police? I'm supposed to feel safe. Look at what they did to Kelly Thomas. That's what they're gonna do to us. Well, things I've forgotten when wicked men prevail. But this time the public's voice is not for sale. So I hope those men are listening. Hope their faces turn pale. Cause we ain't stopping till we put them all in jail.
Residents and sympathizers waited over 10 months for the footage to be released, so when they had a chance to tell the city what they thought, they didn't hold back. Because people are pissed, really pissed, especially after seeing that video. Those police officers were dangerous, and you knew it, you sick man. You watched that video and you kept those police officers on the street. I had to walk out of that courtroom. I had to walk out when the judge said, can anyone not control ourselves? I walked out. That's how bad it was. You know what? People say I'm rude. I'm not rude. I'm pissed. The outrage in the room reflected a palpable distress for city officials. We screamed for months to release that video. You looked at us all with contempt. You called us a mob. Any word you can describe to downplay what we were saying for months. Cicinelli will stand trial for involuntary manslaughter and excessive force, and Ramos for involuntary manslaughter and second-degree murder. But they may not be the only officers reprimanded. Ron Thomas, Kelly's father, pushed for the firing and arrest of another officer involved, Joseph Wolf, after review of the surveillance tape. He brutally murdered Kelly, and uh, the two huge elbows that he delivered after the baton strike, uh, you see the big pool of blood form, it crushed Kelly's face in. So this department could have, in fact, arrested him before that, but they haven't done that, he's still being paid.